Yeah, well, there was more to that story, obviously. The the uh, interview was supposed to last uh, with Harris. It was supposed to last 41 minutes, and I think it lasted 18. Uh, and that was because they cut out so much. They had to remove so many uh, of her, her gaffes and everything else. And, and it was one of those things where... Wow, why do we even bother, right? Uh, why do we even bother trying to have her do anything? It's, this is your 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 candidate for president, and she can't even handle herself in an interview. Guys, the debate's coming up September 10th. What do you think's going to happen? Really, do you think she's going to show? If she does, it's going to be another. It's going to be a disaster. I think so. I think it's certainly something the watcher got, got to see what they're going to do to try and cancel it or try to back out of it. Uh, will they pull something before uh, September 10th? What are we today? We are the fifth. So we've got five days. Anything could happen in five days, right? So we'll see. We're going to pay attention uh, to it all and we're going to see where uh, it goes from here. Boy, it's uh, really strange to have a candidate for president who can't answer questions. We thought that that was as bad as it could get. No, no, no. No, no. They can get worse. Harris is absolutely worse than uh, than Biden. So here we are. We're trying to play the game and trying to figure out uh, what is going on. Um, True the Vote, Catherine Engelbrecht has uh, set up a system with sheriffs, local sheriffs, where they're going to monitor the drop boxes during the election season, which, by the way, guess when the election season begins? Oh, you're going to love this. We are in high season now, so 62 days from November 5th, and absentee ballots are starting to drop. Uh, the first of the states being Nevada and Delaware, which are already in play. North Carolina has its uh, opening for the beginning of sending mail ballots this Friday, and then we, we start ticking down the states over the next few weeks, but it, it is beginning. And what's unclear still to this moment is what are the distinctions going to be between how things rolled out in 2020 versus now in 2024? Because remember back in 2020, uh, pressures and confusions around when the drop boxes are actually going to open and how long they're going to be open. But uh, if, if 2020 was an indicator to what we're going to see, yeah. drop boxes are open in the states that have them from the day that mail ballots begin to be mailed out, which means that it's starting now. So we shouldn't, you know, we shouldn't look down, down the, the line at 60 days from now and wring our hands. It's beginning now. 60 and days now is the uh, is the election. I think sixty two days or something. And uh, you know she's saying that they're going to be monitoring uh, the drop boxes with citizens uh, filming videos and then sending them directly to the sheriffs if they see something uh, that they shouldn't be seeing. All right, it looks like our team is ready to go. Uh, <clears throat> Andrew, is that correct? Are we ready to rock? <clears throat> Two thumbs up from Bruce. Okay, great. <clears throat> Well, let me let me bring in uh, the Are we here? Are we gone? I can't see the button. You're live. We're good? Yeah, you're live. Go for it. Hey, Grand Rising, everybody. Welcome. Today's what? It's the day today. I don't even know we're on the road. It's the uh, 5th of September, 2024. Welcome. All my friends, family, fellow patriots, even you trolls, haters, and stalkers, you guys hang around for a minute, you might learn something. We're here today in uh, Van Cleve, Mississippi, uh, just a little bit over the border. I, and I apologize to some people who may have wanted to come. There was some confusion uh, with the team and where we're going uh, when they set up the actual venue and the event. We were going to intended to go to Jackson, Mississippi, uh, but they booked us in Jackson County, which isn't a bad thing. Uh, we'll go anywhere to try to save the country, right? And as you know, and Lewis has talked about many times, and Lewis isn't here. He's on a very important phone call. He'll be joining us in a little bit. He's in the background. He's in the background. Through, yeah, there he goes. So he, he's on a, uh, a very important call. Uh, we're, we've been working all the way through uh, in the RV, man. There's, uh, Andrew's been uh, doing stuff, booking venues for future stuff. Lewis has been talking to speakers and different things. So uh, we're, we're on it. We're working. Uh, we get here today, and uh, we have our, our friend Lori is the uh, one guest who showed up. And that's, like I was starting to say, Lewis 
and myself, I, we don't care about numbers. If there's one person, we're willing to go. Uh, we're outside in this beautiful little park, like I said, in Van Cleve, Mississippi. And uh, we're just going to have a discussion today, just going to have a chat, you know, share some of the information that we, uh, we know to be true and what we're doing with the Unity Tour. Uh, you know, we're looking to unite uh, the country. Doesn't matter your demographic, your age, your political ideology, even people, Democrats, they're welcome. Everybody is welcome here. Our tent is big. And so we can have anybody come along. If anybody should be able to, because there's a lot of differences of opinion. You might believe this or that, you know, flat earth, round earth, you know, it doesn't matter. Many different people meet, you know, are at different levels in that uh, awakening process. I, you know, we talk about all the time. I mentioned that they're not adrenochrome awake. So uh, we got to meet people where we're at, you know, develop and, and build unity. But we can all unite behind the four pillars that uh, God gave uh, this vision to Lewis for this tour is uh, the four pillars. We can unite to end new world control, which is the United Nations, World Economic Forum, the WHO, uh, all these, you know, global governance, the global elites, the Luciferian asshats who had their boot on the neck of humanity for so very long. Uh, we want to, we can end those people and then uh, end illegal immigration. We see, we're seeing that happen all the time. You, anybody can get behind that, I believe. Uh, so there's uh, Mr. Lewis Herms joining us hot off of a fresh phone call. Any breaking news today like we had yesterday? Uh, there is, actually. But first, I want to address our guest. Hi. Lori. Hi, Hi Lori Lewis Herms. Nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Um, so this is, this is the, I'm sure Bruce may have mentioned this, but this is epitome of what 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 the unity tour is, is about right so we have to take accountability we screwed up the schedule we, we told everybody it was going to be in uh, jackson mississippi and uh, we are in jackson county mississippi so um that that's our bad which is about three hours three hours away but guess what where there's one we said we would show up and you know god talks a lot about that also and it's very very important so we're going to do our due diligence here. Um, I'm so happy that you're here, right? It's, and it's fantastic because the ripples in the water will, will cascade yeah, out. So, mm -hmm. so, cool. so I will get some updating, um, an update real, real quick because this is why I was on the phone call and I apologize for my delay. So folks um, <clears throat> watching, and I'll, I'll just address it here and they can, they can listen in. So what happened is, I don't know if you've, you've heard, um, there's a gentleman named Sean Taylor, who's the assistant police chief of Tennessee. You heard about that? Yeah, I heard. I, I watched the show that you had yesterday, okay. and I okay, saw good. what y'all said about it. So what happens for folks at home, if you don't know, assistant chief Sean Taylor um, has been thoroughly investigating. Um, I'm not going to go deep into it. I will say uh, the massive, probably the biggest corruption ring financially the world has ever seen. That, that's how huge this is. Um, I've been privy to see some of the evidence and the kind of copious look of some things. I believe personally, and I have to say this is my opinion to keep other people out of trouble. Wink, wink. <laughs> and, and of course, Tennessee and everything and uh, fentanyl tracking. Can they not hear me at, at all? You you uh, you haven't warmed up your voice yet. Dun, Did you dun, do dun. your voice exercise? Well, this is very important. So were yes. they were they able to hear me? So um, does Robert know? Just so have yes, we're, we're in, yeah, we're yes or no. The audio level. I just need to know if they were able to hear what I said already, even so if it was I would low. Say restated if there's any okay, doubt. sorry folks for that. That's uh, I unfortunately I just jumped in here. I should have told Andrew to mic me up. So that, that's my bad. So uh, just to give you a review. Again, I apologize here. So, Assistant Chief Sean Taylor from Millersville, Tennessee, has been investigating what I believe to be, and you're going to notice I say I believe in my opinion because it's going to keep other people from being in trouble. Okay? You can take the wink wink and add it to that. I believe is the, is the largest money laundering uh, corruption scheme in the history of the world. We've seen the numbers and wow, it will blow you away. There's only been a few people that I, th I think are blessed to have, have seen this information and it's, it was supposed to stay under the radar on purpose. Um, 
But what happened is it looks like the Tennessee Bureau of Investigations. Oh, by the way, who Sean Taylor was investigating for this corruption, stormed his police station, raided it, stole all, all the electronic equipment and paperwork they could. Then they stormed his house without a proper warrant, and he asked for the warrant. He's the assistant police chief. I'm sure he knows what he's doing. They wouldn't show him the warrant with the name on it of his address at home, and they decided to go in there and take everything anyways. He's concerned, rightfully, that he'll be arrested because if he, if he is, he may not see the light of day. That's how serious this is. So um, I just got off the phone with him. I'll be doing an interview with him as soon as my schedule will permit with a day or two. We're going to find a way somehow on the road. I'm going to get it done. And most importantly, here's what's interesting and I think very important. I posted an, an X video of his about a one minute of him just saying what is going on. And I don't know if it was suppressed, but over last yesterday, all day long, it only got about 100 views. Well, before we went on air here, in 10 minutes, it got over 3,000 views. So something happened where that it's going viral. So now what I decided to do is promote the video. To my surprise, X actually approved it. They don't always approve a promotion of a video like that. That's huge. So we're going to keep getting the word out, guys. So if you can go to X and my account, because the, all the ones have been deleted, it's, it's at Wow Louie, or you can probably put in Screw Big Gov or go to screwbiggov.com and click on X, go there and help this video go viral. This is what can save this man's life, is the exposure of this. I just told him, I said, Sean, God bless you for being the one brave person out there that was willing to take the fire in the face of Satan to get this done. And I said, it's the least we can do is we the people to support you and scream at the rooftops of what's going on. So, guys, if you can go over to X, get all your friends, all your family members. Uh, maybe Robert's probably going to post it or somebody's going to post it in chat right now. You guys need to post it in our description. Robert and Lisa, get this done. We need to save this man's life. This is not just an amazing person that had the courage to do the investigation that everybody told him not to do. He even had Channel 5 News. What's that bastard's Phil name? Phil Williams. Yeah, Phil Williams come after him because he was trying to do what? Expose, tell you about Phil. My opinion. So the point here is we need to band together as great, great patriots and get the job done for this man who has so much damn courage. It will blow you away. Okay. I'm off my soapbox, but I'm pleading with you. This is your opportunity. You want to make a difference? This is how we make a difference. All we, digital warriors. Digital there. warriors, it is time to go, go, go. So, Robert, Lisa, Lisa, activate. Lisa, yeah, <laughs> everybody get this link in, in my description on the website. Um, and, and honey, po you posted in Telegram, whatever. Also, I already did, so you don't have to do that. So, let's go. So that's all I can do to plead with you guys to get it done. So I appreciate you listening to me on my soapbox. But this is what we're about. You know, if we're if we're going to fix things in this world, it's can you stand up? Look at this. What, what does this say? We, the people. We, the people. Are the plan. It's always been that way. And it, if you want to refer to Q and say, trust the plan. That's cool. I'm going to tell you it was misinterpreted by some people, and I don't think they were nefarious, although they probably made millions of dollars on products they sold because of the clicks they got. Oh, well. But the reality is if you really read all the Q drops, it refers back to it's we the people. It's we the people. So trust the plan's always been we the people. There's a guy that you may have heard of. Um, he, he was very, very popular, had a lot of, lot of views almost eight years ago, his name is uh, Donald J. Trump. And he was at his inauguration, he had a beautiful inauguration with military behind him. I don't know if you remember that. And he said, what? We handed it back to we the people. Guys, God has already done the work, right? He needs his soldiers, his righteous soldiers to stand up and finish the job. That's it. 
So let's get it done. It's we the people are the plan for sure. This is a great example. This wonderful lady here is showing up in the middle of, by the way, and thank you for your prayer, Andrew, because it said on, it said chance of rain was 99%. I checked the radar. There's a massive, like a tropical depression type thing. I don't think they've named it yet, but you can see the clouds after today. And we're driving from here to uh, Lake Saint, Lake Charles, uh, Louisiana. Four-hour drive. It's going to be, it's going to be very windy and very rainy as we're going to be driving along. So yeah. So she knew it was 99% chance, and she shows up anyways. I mean, that's dedication. So. Uh, we have an army of one here, so <laughs> let's just uh, have a good conversation. Thank you, sir. It'll be a nice, short conversation. Andrew, feel free to join us if, if you right, if, you, if you like. Um, I'm based on the <laughs> angles. You probably <laughs> probably between the two of them, right maybe, in the middle, right yeah. in the middle, maybe, or or on the side. On Go the side. over there. Yeah, right that'd be great. Okay. All right. Perfect. So, Bruce, where were we? <laughs> oh, well, we're there's this thing. We're out here. And we're looking, you know, this, this is a um, microcosm of the problem that we're facing, not just not in, in everybody's state. I mean, there's there's uh, people are sitting around waiting for something to happen. We talk about this all the time, ad nauseum, as I said. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody's too many people are sitting around waiting for Trump, the White Hats, the military, whoever, to ride in on a white horse and save the day. And that's just not going to happen. You know, they may be doing, they, I know they are doing stuff, you know, behind the scenes on a larger federal or national or global scale. Right. But here in, in uh, Mississippi, the smaller towns, they're not going to come in and do, you know, school board stuff. They're not city council, mayors. Uh, we were talking with Lori just before we went on, uh, went live. You know, she's actually not even from Mississippi. She's from southeast Louisiana. Yes. Oh, Mississippi fail. All right, zero fail. For Mississippi. <laughs> so, uh, what's going on, Mississippi? M I S S I S S I P P. Mississippi fail. missing. Did, missing you mention, did you mention the people that wanted to jump on the convoy? Yeah, we should though. There, there was uh, the cool thing is we when we stopped for gas about what five miles away from here. Um, there was a, there's a bunch of people outside of, I don't know what across the road, yeah. across the road from their business screaming at us, right? We're looking for the Molotov cocktails, <laughs> but they were supporters. And then, uh, they, they were, uh, very, very happy to see, see what we were doing. So there, there are some good Mississippians. Did I say that properly? Properly yeah. as a Mississippians, Mississippians, Mississippians. Hi, Mississippians. There, uh, there, there are, there are some good ones. So the fact is guys. Uh, I, we know that you know people have jobs and so on and well, yeah, so, is, so yeah, forth. Nine o'clock on a Thursday yeah. morning. Yeah, so we we get right. it, we get it. But the re the reality is though, the general apathy in our country has been it is a disease, and it's something that's been bred in to us culturally to to step back, wait, be docile. You know, whatever you do, don't raise your voice. Yeah. Don't raise your voice. Yeah. You're a bad person if Can you I raise your voice. To that? No. Absolutely not. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, so, let me steal your mic real quick, so that way they don't you have a mic. No, let me steal your. Okay, your, so we've done. Your... We've done this before. Here's the way to do it okay. to make it easy for you guys. Just put them back okay. to back. So, um, my name's Andrew, and obviously, I I got to join the Unity tour, and I just want to go through a real quick timeline. 9-11, I was a travel agent. Ten days later, I was put out of work. My fallback was working on the auto industry in Detroit. And nine, uh, the global financial crisis made it very hard to find a job. Thousands and tens of thousands of great jobs left the state. And then uh, moved to South Florida, become a rideshare driver. And uh, the lockdown put me out of work. And uh, serving eight years in the military, I've worn the, the big canister filter, the big Mop 4 suit that would protect me in a biochemical radioactive warfare. And the fact that there's this blowing around in the air but the military's response, th that didn't add up. A real filter versus a paper filter. So, and then I started asking questions and one post a friend made. So importance about sharing and posting. One post that a friend made started me asking questions. That led to a thousand questions. And then that led to working with whistleblowers and investigative journalists and truthers. And so I realized from my background that if we get punched in the face one time, 
okay, a second time, a third time. How many times are we going to get punched in the face before we take action? Either dodging punches or learning how to fight. And so for me, learning how to fight was I turned my ride share into a chauffeur service for whistleblowers and truthers, investigative journalists. And then I used my talents, like, for example, tech. You know, I've been able to help partner with these two truthers on tech. And so um, we need to partner up, find people that whether it's one or two or three or four people and we lock arms and we and we find out what we can do. If there's two or more, I think that we can be more effective. Yes. And it'll grow exponentially. You can do these max back to back when we're this close. Robert. Or, oh, I'll just sit that was magnetic. That was awesome. <laughs> now these do, they're, we go. they're super noise reduction. So actually, if you hold it back, if you put it back on. Well, let, let's try this. Honey, love, just, no, we're good. Just text me if you can't hear us. So <clears throat> anyways, it, you're absolutely right. Because it's like, punch punch me in the face, right? Shame on you. Punch me in the face twice. Shame on me. Now, so when you get punched in the face ten times, who, who, who is it? Who is it? Shame on at that point, right? It's just it's madness. Um, Bruce, you've been a warrior in this for a long, long time, right? I've I've watched you. I've watched the work you do. It's actually pretty pretty incredible, in in my opinion. So give them an idea of some of the things you do in, in your local neighborhood of Florida. Well, one of, when I first started doing the live streaming stuff, it was all local. I started going to school boards. I started uh, and live streaming from the school board, right? I, I met you know Gina. Many people know Gina. Met her. She lived near me. We started going to school boards, boards together, city council or county commission meetings because the county commission where I live is bigger than city council. Uh, so the county commission, this was all the forward information to them and sharing about the the fallacy of their mandates. Um, so I started live streaming all that stuff. Uh, and then one thing led to another and the things grew. And now we've been traveling the country the last couple of years, you know, 78, 9, 80. I don't even lost count anymore of the different places that we've been trying to get information out. But it all started in my local area. Uh, and then, you know, getting I got involved with the local GOP. Like people, a lot of people say, oh, you don't don't do that. It's useless or it's a bunch of rhinos. No, we, we have to do something. Right. I mean, just think about in your mind if, if we did nothing. Right. I mean, you could easily say, uh, F it, I'm going to stay home today. And then we'd be sitting here talking to ourselves, mm -hmm. you know, but one person getting up and making a difference. That's that's, you know, one person showing courage, one person showing initiative, one person showing action is contagious. Um, and so I continue to push, continue to push. It'd be way easier for me to stay home. Right. I, I don't need, you know, I, so uh, that's, that's why I do this because of my grandkids. I don't want to see, I can't, I can't, you know, once here, the veil is lifted. I've said this before, the scales fall off your eyes. You can't unsee this stuff. And uh, I just can't sit around and watch everything go to, uh, to hell in a handbasket. Um, Go woke, like like D -D -D, everything that goes woke you know, turns to shit, just like Donald Trump says. It's 100 percent true. Yeah. And it's been proven over and over and over again. Um, even, you know, more recently on a national scale, Harley Davidson tried, you know, was came out, they were pushing DEI stuff, and those bikers pushed back a little bit, and then it was wasn't very long. Harley Davidson kind of backtracked and they're moving away. Many companies right now, larger corporations, which I think are the bane of existence. Um but larger are pulling back from the DEI stuff because they're seeing the effect of we the people doing some stuff, right? And in that sense, what we hit, you know, in the in in, in calling out the Bud Light treatment, the you know, Target, you know, Disney, of course, but there's still other people that go there are crazy. It's amazing. Um, uh, Ford, I think Ford was a, another recent one that's you know, backing away from their DEI policies. But if we we need to stand up, if we do nothing, what is the what are you know think about if we do nothing? wait for somebody else to do the work for us. What is the alternative? What is the outcome? Do you, can you visualize, can you cast a vision forward and see where this is going? And it's not a pretty situation. So the, the thing is, when we're waiting for the military to come and just fix, fix everything, you've already proven just with your conversation, what we've seen in the, in the recent past, how powerful people are when we stand up. So in, think about this guys, in the face of the, the big, bad, billion-dollar corporations, they cower when we, the people, stand up. 
We saw it happen to Bud, Bud Light. We, we saw it happen to Harley Davidson. I mean, the list goes on and on and on and on, right? We've seen it in some city council meetings. When you stand up in force, they cower. Sometimes in school board meetings, they literally walk out. So it's always the power of the masses, right? But for some reason, we don't. And it's not really for some reason. We've been brainwashed to think that if you have conservative values, you know you're just supposed to be docile and not really say anything. I'm going to give you a good example. There's some dude on Fox News named Sean Hannity, right? CIA operative, in my opinion, <clears throat> that he's very loud and boisterous in everything he does to draw in your attention. But when it comes to we the people taking action, he's constantly saying, don't, 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 don't boycott. That's against our conservative values. Why would you protest? That's against conservative values. Don't raise your voice up while he's screaming at the television, right? That's against conservative values. It's a complete MK Ultra operation. He's a paid asset, in my opinion. That's who he is. So he's a microcosm of what really goes on, even in the churches. Yeah. Many, many churches are completely brainwashed you to thinking, okay, just be like this. Don't do anything. Don't turn the other cheek. Yep. Don't stand up for yourself. And of course, the scripture is amazing and incorrect. It's the manipulation of the scripture that is used by many pastors and many churches to get us to do things that we normally wouldn't do. So, and this is where we have to really, really go. So if it's your instinct right away to do something and you're a good person, generally that's God speaking through you. So if your instinct is to, is to stand up and say, hey, no, but right in your mind, you have your pastor in your ear or you have the television in your ear and all, and next thing you know, you sit down. Think about that for a second. That's not God speak. As soon as doubt hits. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That is that is something else. But we do it time and time and time again. So it's time for us to understand yeah. if you're a good person, and I'm sure 95% of you are 99, 9.9 watching right now are, then you must listen to that first voice and you must act immediately. Great example. There's an epidemic now when there's some craziness or some fight or somebody getting harmed. That people immediately go like yeah. this. To record. I, I got to film that. Well, that's, by the way, that's conditioning. The three of us had a wonderful uh, conversation yesterday in the RV about, about social conditioning and, and how we're subjected to certain things, and therefore that's how we are. That's what this is. It's, social, it's total social conditioning. Now, what's the natural instinct if there were no phones away, right? Oh, my God, I got to help that person, right? Sometimes it's flight, but may, many times... I would say within in the culture, cultural of uh, conservative patriots, it's fight, not flight. Unfortunately, now it's phone, not fight. Right. How many how many videos have we seen of a, a mob of people beating up some old senior sit, and then there's a bunch of people just standing around re recording it? Why don't you jump to help the person? I mean, you don't. You, I oh, I don't want to get beat up myself. We have to. There, there has to be a line somewhere. Where then you have to be willing, mm -hmm. be willing to take you know um, take some damage, right. to take some pain. Right. I mean, that's what we, the pain is the situation. As a, a a species, our brain is wired for survival, and we're kind of you know subconsciously conditioned to avoid pain, but. Pain is, is where the growth comes when you're in pain, when you're in suffering, when you're doing something that isn't comfortable, getting out of that comfort zone, you know, stretching a little bit. Uh, like the, the very first time I stood up and spoke at a school board meeting, I spent you get the three minute speech. I spent two days crafting this now lovely speech, you know, and I get time my phone, I'm speaking, telling it, you know, like two minutes, 58 seconds. I'm like, All right, I'm good. Stand up there in front of all these, uh, you know, people that, uh, and they they set it up on purpose. They're higher. They're higher up, higher and they're looking and, down and, on you. So you know, they're in their ship, by the way. <laughs> they're in the sea. They're in the yeah. ship, and they're higher, higher up. Captains, they are. So they, 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 there's an intimidation factor there. And I've always, you know, been a strong type person, but still, I was super nervous, and I didn't get out what I needed to get out. But that after that first time, I was like, oh, got that one done. Right. You know, the next time and the next time it was easier as any. And then I didn't even have to have any notes 
because once out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Yeah. So if you know the information, if you really know what you're talking about, you don't need any notes. You know, that's when I do my the uh, live streams I do. I know a lot of people spend time preparing and you know, researching. And this is, I don't. I study. I've done all that work already. And if I'm, I'm learning new stuff now, but I don't ha I have a general idea where I want my show to go. But once I start talking, universe takes over and whatever happens, happens. And usually it comes out fairly good. I don't I don't think, you know, most people you know, called me up even later and say, hey, man, that was fantastic. Like, I'm glad you thought so. I Inside me, I felt like I was just rambling at rambling idiot. I didn't was making no sense at all. Yeah. But, you know, that's how things work. You got to take some action. That first step. You know, I've shared, you know, before, uh, you know, the, the parting the Red Sea, you know, Moses, if Moses, you know, how they, the Jews there, the Egyptians come in. If Moses had not taken that action and raised up the staff, that sea would not have parted. He would just come up and he's like, where's God? You're supposed to be doing this for me, right? No, he had to take the action. He moved, did something, did, you know, move forward, you know, exhibited some energy because where energy go, you know, where focus goes, energy flows. So if he hadn't done that, we would, it would be a totally different story. So you have to take that first step of action, no matter how scary it is. I, th I thought it was cool. You shared something, I believe, maybe six months or a year ago, talking about if you had more than three minutes to share at one of these meetings, you have it where somebody lines up and yeah. takes over. Sequen sequential presentation is what I call so it. So the sequential presenta presentation. So I, I heard you teaching about it online, and then I got to see it play out in Palm Beach County where uh, four people – work together to cover maybe 12 minutes worth of material in a very, like, because they wanted to give it context and boy, they were well organized. And, and that, that message, once we realize, okay, now this person's going to continue on it, uh, it. It does encourage not only those of us that are in the audience that are on the same side, but then uh, also having four people that are, Hey, we're doing this as a team. So even even just, you know, so I want to thank you for putting that out there because that was very helpful uh, and I've seen it used multiple times. So thank you. It's but it's, it's important that we under, understand that there's so much power in community. Right. And I think that gets gets lost and intrinsically people need a, a leader. Right. So. I'm, I'm just going to give two quick examples. One is my, one is one of my favorite one is um, nobody ran a four minute mile ever for a long time. Right. And then it's impossible. Yeah, it's impossible. And then Roger Bannister ran a four minute mile. And then shortly after that, like 17 people ran the four minute mile. And it's only because they were shown that it can be done. Nothing changed in their body. Nothing changed in their workout routine. The only change is the most important thing. And that's their mindset. Right. So another example is I saw a video recently where um, a, a, a guy virtually in the middle of the street was was slapping a lady around. Right. And people were just standing there. And then it took a minute or not a minute, but it took a few seconds. And then one one guy said, oh, I'm not going to put up with that. And he goes and starts slapping the guy around that was beaten on, on the woman. And then it, if, you, if you think that he was alone. It took just a few seconds and everybody else had the example and they're like, wow, maybe we should set down our phones. And then he was mobbed by like 20 people. Right. Because and I'm not I'm not suggesting violence, but I am suggesting protecting those who can't. The real definition of meek, by the way, think about that every time you, you hear Matthew five fives. So so that gentleman said, hey, whoa, 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 I got to step in here. This isn't right. And another one and another one and another one and another one. And then that guy got the living crap beat out of him, which is OK. Um, <laughs> you know, so the point being is there's all these examples throughout history that we have it within us to band together. And if we know how powerful community is and to step up and have conversations like I don't need to have a 12 minute speech on my own. We have a we have a mission here. Let's break that up in four, right? So they took it upon themselves. I'm sure they didn't hear me. They took it upon themselves, or maybe they did through the ether, because I believe we live in a quantum reality. But they took it upon themselves to say, okay, this is the way we need to structure this, right? And we've seen 
we've seen successes over and over. And it, it's, it's very easy to think that nobody is listening, nobody's waking up, nothing can be done when you live within your bubble, right? So, and let's think about this. To find negativity, we search with outside of our bubble to find problems in the world, do we not? We can find plenty of problems in the world and we go online or they watch the news or whatever we do, we can find problems in the world. Go to the grocery store, there's definitely gonna be somebody complaining about something, right? So why not look outside of our bubble to find people waking up, to find people doing the right thing, to find people doing the work, to find, to research that there is some good things happening in the, in the background. I mean, I'm gonna go to it time and time again. Again, the most important decision to the Supreme Court in at least 50 years, in my opinion, is getting rid of the Chevron deference. That's it. Overturning Chevron deference. If, and I'm not going to explain it again here because I don't want to bore you that already know about it. But look up what the Chevron deference was. I will summarize real quick. It gives the power to non-elected officials to do things really bad to you and take your money. They got rid of it. It was a 1980s decision, and, and it's gone. That is probably the most powerful thing that happens because it emasculated the deep state completely. Now, the key is now we need to fight against it if they if they try to do something, and it needs to go through the Supreme Court, and be and that needs to get a hear. I mean, needs to be shown, yes, this is illegal what they're doing. Very, very, very powerful. Um, and people say, well, Roe versus Wade, putting it back to the states is, is more important. No, that's really Roe versus Wade was a no-brainer. It should have always been in this. I mean, it should always been abolished, and the abortion conversation should always be within in the states. Doesn't mean I like it, but the feds, according to the Constitution, don't really have a right to do much, so they put it back into the states where it is supposed to be. And uh, hopefully, all fifty states will make good decisions in the future in regards to that. But the Chevron deference is very, very powerful because these are non-governmental organizations, even outside the country that are making decisions for we the people and taking money out of your pocket and holding you guys accountable. So there are great things happening. Great, great things happening. But yes, sometimes in a bubble, you know, oh, my my dad, my 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 husband, uh, my kids, and all my neighbors, they just don't get it. They all just think I'm crazy. They don't understand, blah, 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 blah. Nothing's happening. I don't see, how many times we hear nothing's happening? Nothing, mm -hmm. nothing's happening. Why? Because it's not on CNN. That's why. Yeah. It, 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 <laughs> and, really and, and here's what I'm going to say. Yeah. Thank you for saying it's not on CNN. Because I, I just posted this recently, and this is hilarious. Oh, I love this. We have a bunch of cicadas in the background. How cool is that, that we could be doing this and hear cicadas in the background? I just learned that on one of the other true tours. So you go ahead and look that up. <laughs> <laughs> so what uh, you hear, nothing's happening. Why, why don't we hear it on, on the mainstream media? Unless it's on the mainstream media, I don't believe anything's happening. So I want to ask you a question. If you're interviewing somebody that you know to be a station, you need to get away from that. But I'll give you some good news. A year ago, I was doing some investigations into the numbers that they were pulling. At the time, CNN was number one. Uh, I didn't include Fox News at, at, on this thing because everybody was looking to CNN and MSNBC as being the bad guys. So CNN was number one in regards to uh, people watching at a certain time. Their highest rated show of the day, their highest rated show of the day, 460,000. Mm. Highest rated show. You can put our top five truthers together, right? Together, and they're probably 4.5 million. You, you put 100 truthers together, we're like 20 million a day. Yet they get four point or four hundred sixty thousand, right? Crazy, crazy. So absolutely, it does not make a difference what the mainstream media has. The word is getting out. X is really, really helping us there. Although they still shadow ban me, Elon. I'm gonna call you. Oh yeah, yeah. We lost Andrew. Was there something you wanted to say? Well, the funny thing is, you know, I'm getting called out. You know, it's like, well, I, I, nine out of the ten commandments. But the good <laughs> news is. I'm unarmed. I do not have my golf clubs. You know, a lot of people see my polo shirt and it's like, well, because uh, I'm going to start wearing my 
my tour shirts, but I have a nice clean polo shirt and I'm unarmed. I don't have my golf clubs, but I, I, I did bring my word with me. So, you know, there's my sword and we have our shield and we have the armor that we're wearing. And so, uh, but yeah, what a wild ride that yeah, we're on. Yeah. Andrew's almost leveled up to get one of our shirts, by the way. I'm not, I'm not, I'm like entry level. You know, when I get yeah. promoted to like low, low level. Yes. Sir. Double <laughs> secret probation. And, and in all truth, he's doing a fantastic job for us, right? And is Andrew. For sure. I think you had a lot to do with there not, not being rain today. <laughs> Currently. But you, you talked about, you know, a lot of people people not seeing stuff or, you know, not feeling that there's the people that are crazy or whatever. Uh, but before we started, I was talking with Lori and she was, you know, saying it's, it's hard to find other yeah. like-minded people, you know, because, and I've mentioned it before, I believe the, the mainstream media makes fear and intimidation that keep people from being silent. If I step up or if I speak out or if I say that, uh, and it has nothing, has zero to do with Trump. That, I want to make that super clear. If, if you just share conservative values, you're you're going to get you know beat down, name called. You could potentially lose your job. You could, you know, your kids gonna be bullied at school. All kinds of different things because you share your your beliefs. So you know that this is some of the stuff we're doing with this unity tour and what you're the newer the the revamped freedom in action situation. And, uh, you know, where we're going there, we, we need more, more all hands on deck. You have to pick a side right now. There is no, you can't stay down the middle. You can't stay vanilla. You can't stay on the sidelines. We need everybody or else this is going to take, you know, way longer than it needs to. So it's interesting you'd say that is when I made it, when we started the unity tour promoting and, and address t talking to truthers and speakers and influencers and all that, um, we said, hey, guys, this should be your duty right now to show up or promote the unity tour because we're trying to bring unity together. We've got a lot to do. Right. And uh, I was talking to Robert Imbrielli, who's uh, hosting our live right now. And everybody knows him on the, our news and views and conspiracies. And I, I said, how can I how can I make this email better? Right. I always like to have the team look at stuff. And he says, he goes, well, unfortunately, you probably have to put it what's in it for them in order to make it happen. Right. And uh, so maybe a placement on the website. So we couldn't figure it out because I, I, we're not going to pay them, right, to do the right thing. And I would say it's very unfortunate. And he's right because over, if if I take the top hundred truthers out there that know about this, right, many of them are going to show up at some of our events. So we already know they're going to be in Plano and Phoenix and, and Tampa and a lot of other places too. Um, actually, a lot of places, but those specifically are seem to get are getting a lot of attention. Interesting enough, many of those truthers that are going to show up are not even promoting the fact that there's a unity to it. They're going to slip in and slip out. Hopefully, there, it's, nobody it's all, sees it's, them. Or it's, all, it's all ego. Right. It's all ego. So they want to show up on stage. Hey, I'm the big bag person right here, but they're not willing to even post about this. Now I'm going to still let them show up. But I'm getting to a point where I'm going to start calling out the, the truth or community because I, I, there's, there's, this is a divine appointment of what we're doing here, right? But it's not a money maker. But you, don't, you don't see a lot of money flowing here. It's the unity tour and it's freedom in action. There should be no reason that everybody can't get behind it. But I'm sure they're like, ah, oh, well, I'm not putting it on. My name's not attached to it or what's in it for me. Is that not a sad state? So these are the people that you're looking at as leaders in the truth community, yet they cannot get around something that really is for everybody. Right. And right. that's that's sad for, sh for sure. And I'm including a lot of people that are willing to show up, puff their chest out on stage, but not be promoting the unity tour, even though they're going to be there. And that's a sad state of affairs. That we're working with so if you think the apathy in the we the people is tough it's it's weird what we have to do deal with with inside the truth or community because there is a lot of selfishness still and self-promotion self i mean yeah. there's even been a a uh, i don't think it's a large contingent but there is a contingent of people out there and they're pushing and say exposing 
you know, a lot of the patriots are pushing hopium and a bunch of grifters. They just want your money. They don't know what's going on. And, well, that's true that nobody knows what's going on. The, those people that tell you they know what's going on are lying to you, number one, because nobody knows. You don't know until you know. And, you know, even nowadays, even stuff online with the AI and the videos, and you can't even trust sometimes what you see with your own eyes. Uh, but yeah, this, this is the state of affairs we're at. Everybody's in it, in it for themselves. You know, when, like you said, they want to come, puff their chest, but they don't want to do the grunge work, you know, of the promotion and, you know, pushing it out there. Um, you know, it was, it's not a moneymaker. How, how much did you pay to come here, Lady Laura? Zero. It actually Zero. Co- it actually cost you cost gas money, time. Yeah. So you're you're in the hole by coming here today. <laughs> well, that's why I wanted to come because I wanted to make uh, well, I wanted to get a chance to meet you guys, and I wanted to also thank you guys. Thank you all very much. Thank you for for, com- for coming, like for giving so much of yourself. And for everything you guys are doing. Well, I really appreciate it. So I wanted to be supportive. Well, thank you. We appreciate that too. So let me ask you, what what can be done or what are you looking at as some places that need to be worked on, say, with inside your community or even nationally? Where, where are your frustrations at that you may think need some work? Well, um, I, I'm excited about your app. To that w- that will allow me to find some other people maybe in the community because I'm not um, I'm not super good at technology mm-hmm. so <laughs> uh, I'm I don't really know of any groups in my area so I'm looking forward to that so that I could find some people I'm sure there are some maybe not in the immediate area but in the surrounding area so um, I'm looking forward to that to work on that uh, to help you know, in the way I can. And I just try in my s- small little community, I just try, I, d- I try not to, you know, unload too much information that I know on, on them, you know, cause then they'll be like, mm-hmm. <laughs> um, so I just try to like drop little things Very every cool. now and then. So. so, so to show you that it's not all about us, our app is about ready to come out, which is freedomaction.net. Um, and the app is called freedom in action also. You'll be able you wow, getting hit by the flies. Be careful what I ask for. <laughs> so the anyways, the uh, app is phenomenal because it is just about ready. Literally, I was on it last night making some more tweaks to it. It's gonna let you connect anywhere in the United States, but you it has a geo targeting feature where you can hone it down to within ten miles of you, right? So you can do ten miles, so you can do four thousand, which covers the whole United States. And it's beautiful because you can know what events are going on, what groups have had things going on, and just meet people talking online that you know are within your vicinity. Now, it's not going to put their name out there, so nobody has risk of, of being targeted. But they'll have, you know, they'll have a screen name or whatever they want to put out there. But the beauty is, you'll be able to connect. You can have coffee or lunch with somebody. It's a great way to connect or connect within the group. Now, to prove that this is not all about us, I've just recently discovered um, on Meetup.com. If you scroll down, there's something, I think it's for organizations and f- like freedom lovers or something like that. There's a section there and you can click on all these subsections for people in your area. So you literally can already put in there your, your zip code or whatever you want. So I would go in the meantime to meetup.com. It's pretty, pretty cool. And uh, I might even do a tutorial on that and put it on a website. Now, do I know if I do that, I'll probably lose a lot of people going going to our app? Yeah, but guess what? <laughs> That's what we're supposed to do, right? We sure. need to, I'd rather just take the country back quicker instead of getting all the likes and thumbs ups. Right. No, yeah, we, the, the, all hands on deck, any way possible. Whether it's, you know, if you're passing out flyers, because like you said, you're not super technology, but if you're aware of something that's uh, not copacetic and your city cop, whatever, and there's other people around who may, may not, as technology, you know, because the mainstream media we says not going to be talking about that. Mm-hmm. But you can make a flyer, go door to door handing out flyers, old school stuff, right. right? You know, you could actually dial up a phone or you know just go to a coffee shop if you're. You know, there's we have to be more active in all areas and be willing to put that stuff out there because there's there's a lot of uh, that fear of false evidence appearing real that something's going bad going to happen to you. You're going to be 
ostracized, docs, whatever. That a lot of that stuff is fake, phony, and false, as Dave from X22 says. A perfect example when we did the take our border back convoy uh, last year from uh, you know we I from, from well, I started in Virginia to Florida all the way to Arizona where I went. Uh, there was a lot of people, a lot of truthers, uh, you know, big name people said, oh, don't go. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a setup. It's going to be another January 6th. You know, you're going to get arrested if you go. We went. We had a fantastic time. There was a great participation. Should have been 10 times more people that showed up and participated to help, you know, take our boards or bring awareness to that situation. Uh, and nobody was arrested. There was zero fights. There was, you know, no, no bad stuff happened. And that just shows you that what you think might happen to you, you you spend so much time worrying uh, and having anxiety about what might happen that you don't do nothing, mm -hmm. and it's all it's it's all it's all a mind game. It's all a mind fuck from the the psyop. That's what they want. That's that's the part of the thing. That's why I've chosen to you know focus a lot of the stuff on the mindset, and that's where we need to have that strength, that mindset to be able to withstand, you know, the have the sword and the shield and you know, the full armor so we can withstand. We've been in training, so to speak, you know, understanding who our enemy is kind of, you know, what the problems are. We kind of know that stuff. We can continue to beat that dead horse. Uh, but now that the time for is it's, it's time for action, yep. you know, put up or shut up, you know, lead, follow, get out of the way. Uh, those th that's where we're at. And I have almost zero patience for people to say, oh, you know, that's just not me. All right. You know, how many times have we heard? Uh, well, yeah, I don't talk. I don't do politics. I was talking with an old friend from uh, high school just before we left home. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't talk about politics. I don't do politics. You know, and that's part of the psyop. We've been how many people heard? Yeah, you don't talk about your family dinner gatherings, whatever. You don't talk about politics and religion. Those are the two things that have been effing us over our entire lives. And we're not supposed to talk about them because they don't want you to find out exactly. that they've been stabbing you in the back and lying That's to you right. and manipulating right. you and controlling you so that we're not supposed to talk about that though. The key is to talk about everything you're not supposed to talk about. Right. hundred <laughs> percent. That, that, that's it. Here, check that real quick. Hey, um, so I have some huge news or I'm sorry, like Trump would say, huge, huge, huge. It's huge. I got huge news. It's huge. Okay, so we are canceling our September 29th Youngstown, New York. What? That's right. What? We're, we're canceling it. We're, we're giving up? Yep. Sorry, guys. Cashing in the chips. Yep. September 29th, Youngstown, New York. We are canceling that event. Oh, wait. Why? Why? Because we are relocating that event. To where? To the Devil's Den. Washington, D.C. to team up with Take Your Border Back and the big, huge rescue res restoration event there with Tulsi Gabbard, RFK Jr., Laura Logan. I mean, tons of people are going to be there. I can tell you there may also be some amazing special guests, but that's where we're going to relocate to. So what we've decided, because there could be a hundred thousand people there. It's supposed to be a massive, massive event. So what we decided to is when we get to that event, we'll be simulcasting it, guys. So that's the cool thing. So you'll be able to see it, simulcasting it. I'll be in and out of the crowd and I'll be on, on multiple channels out there, uh, which is awesome. Uh, uh, Take Your Border Back already has a press pass and they've invited me in to speak about three times on their channel. We're going to simulcast their stuff. Robert will be filming it from home. I mean, it's going to be amazing. We're going to have guests on. So that's September 29th, Washington, D.C. If you can get there, you got to be there. That is a huge deal. Huge deal. Now, what we're going to do is when we get there, we're going to tell you where we're posted up because there's 100,000 people. It's going to be hard to find us. We're going to tell you where we're posted up. And everybody's going to be wearing, stand up real quick, this shirt real quick. It's beautiful. We the people are the plan with this amazing embroidered with white and gold screw big gub. Very, 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 very comfortable, lightweight. Yeah. It's an amazing shirt. It, uh, and Lori's going to get one today just for showing up. No, not all of you are going to get one for free. <laughs> um, but anyways, we would love you to go. What I would hope you could do is go to the website soon enough. 
We don't have it up there yet. Lisa doesn't even know about it yet. She loves when oh, I do, boy. When I, do the, I do the stuff live. She's like, oh, man, here I go. Surprise. Anyways, we're going to put this uh, shirt up on the website very, very soon. And um, locally, we sell them for $35. They're actually very, very expensive to make. This is a super high quality. Everything we do is super high quality. It's shirt. It doesn't shrink. It's beautiful. And it has a logo and everything. Very comfortable. So we sell them for $35. But we're going to put a coupon code for the DC event. So if you're going to go there, you can get it for 25, right? Which is slightly over cost. There is some profit in there, just so you know. And then what happens is you go there, everybody, we're going to show in force. And I think we're going to create our own chance. Like we the people are the plan. We're going to have a lot of fun there. <laughs> so we need to show up in force and show how powerful this screw big gut family is. I think it's going to be amazing absolutely amazing so very very exciting guys uh we'll get the website out to um the restoration uh, organization and everything else uh it's gonna be good so you guys should start planning for that and i hear tampa our grand finale right now the tickets are blowing up it's all free but get your tipic tickets for tampa all the speakers you've ever wanted to see they're probably going to end up there also so we're getting a lot of great feedback about Tampa. And then Ethan Lucas is throwing a party afterwards. After party. Multiple bands. Um, we're going to try to convince this guy to do karaoke. But maybe not. He's already he's already going to be worn out by then. But uh, we're, it's going to be so much fun, guys. The after party is going to be incredible. But there, 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 is that, there may be a uh, expense for the after for party. For the after party, there will probably be an expense of like 20, 25 bucks just to – uh, help Ethan recover his costs. He's actually donating the parties, but if, if he can recover some of his costs, it would be helpful for him. Can I see um, my sa favorite saying? But Donde the, esta la fiesta? For all of our fans out there, Donde esta la fiesta? Where's the party? Where is the party? <laughs> oh, I thought he was speaking German, so I, I, didn't, I didn't quite understand at the time. So, folks, that about does it does it for today. But we have a uh, we're going to have Andrew finish off us with prayer, and as soon as that's done. I got uh, one more quick thing to talk about too. Oh sure, go ahead. So uh, as, as we're going along, I mean, this so people are looking at me. Well, we had you know, like what, 30, 40, 50 people in Jacksonville. We had six people yesterday. We got one people there. You guys are crashing and burning. No, man, it takes take, take some momentum. Yeah. It takes some time to get things going because we don't have a huge, uh, you know, uh, multi-million dollar budget. Uh, you know, we got our sponsor, Verity Metals. Uh, Matt Geiger, you know, helped pay for the. Graphics on Esther, uh, kicking in some money for the gas. But again, Lewis is coming out of pocket again. So it's if anybody can, and I know that there's some uh, you know well-to-do, well-off benefactors out there. Go to UnityTour.us. There's a donate button there. You can donate to uh, you know put some gas. Gas for this thing is not cheap. Uh, you know it gets. We got. We're testing some of new product right now. We're hoping to get like near 10 miles per gallon. That's what we're hoping to get. Uh, we're hoping to get 10 miles a gallon and 11,000 miles is estimated for this whole or all 50 stops. So let's, you know, do the math. Uh, gas is expensive, what average three bucks a gallon. So if you can donate, donate, you know, go to the website, donate. If you are looking to, you know, swap out, get out of the stock market, 401k, IRA stuff, because we know that's going to crash and burn. Our entire financial system here in the United States is a house of cards just waiting to come down when the right wind blows or the, somebody gives the uh, the thumbs up to make it happen. Uh, so you need to protect yourself. Go to VerityMetals.com. Set up a free, again, free uh, console to blow smoke up your butt. There's no craziness. He lays it out how it is. One of the best people that I've met. And so go to VerityMetals.com. Do that stuff. Go to unitytour.us to donate, help with some gas money and, and different things. So that's what I have to, because Lewis never wants to talk about, I mean, he's he's been in the hole huge, uh, as, as Trump says, huge. Uh, we don't have the, we don't have the, um, the money that Trump has. So, uh, not yet. Not yet. We're all, we're all gonna, not yet. Exactly. We're all going to be abundant soon. And she says that, you know, I'm not good at technology. You got to add in yet. Because we yes. can always be better. Right. We gotta have right. we gotta have that growth mindset. That's right. You know, yeah. I don't I don't know how to do this yet. You know, there's tons of stuff that I've learned how to do because I've chosen to do that. So you can choose to be ignorant, have that fixed mindset, and I know everything. Nothing's gonna happen. I'm just gonna sit in my home and wait, wait for the, uh, wait for the for whatever. No, we have to have that growth mindset. You know, I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to go to a school board yet. But you go to Freedom in Action, learn how to do that. 
You, I don't know how to, you know, be a pole watcher yet. We're, we got to have that growth mindset. Yep. Beautiful. So folks, we're going to head over to Lake Charles next. Uh, that's going to be a lot of fun before, before we do that, we get to get into the trailer and we're going to be here for probably about an hour sorting things out and, and organizing. So um, God bless you. Before we go, we're going to have Andrew uh, call us out in prayer and uh, appreciate you watching. And uh, we're there for you. Reach out to us if you need something from us. All right. Thank you for this beautiful day. Heavenly Father, we humble ourselves before you boldly. We come before the throne of heaven. We thank you for the supernatural favor with the weather that we had. Thank you for the mercy upon us. Uh, thank you for our guest that showed up today. Um, thank you for all the tech that has been cooperating to the, you know, uh, we're scoring touchdowns, people that don't realize what's going on. Uh, we've got three touchdowns so far on this tour. We're winning 21 to zip, and we're going to be more and more victorious. Thank you for the supernatural favor with the angels that are protecting us. And we come against the enemy. Your assignment is canceled. Anything that is trying to stop us, we know that we have already secured victory. And uh, we're going to grow stronger uh, get out your cars, get out your trucks, get out your RVs and help us to link up with like minded people as we uh, win back our nation with divine providence. And for your glory, we pray in the mighty and powerful name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Tomorrow or today, Lake Charles. I don't even know what date it is. Today's Thursday, is it? Yes. Are we at 530 ish? And then tomorrow we have College Station and Plano. Uh, the Plano's packing up, so you actually want probably want to go online and get your tickets for there. We have some special guests showing up in Plano, which is pretty awesome, and in College Station, actually. So that would be pretty awesome. So, guys, those are the next three events. Get it done. Meet us. Support us. Convoy with us. Whatever you want to do. We're Travel gonna, a mile with us. We're going to have a real good time. And right now, enjoy this incredible song right now that we're going to play for you just so you know this song has some incredible singers in it but you know what there's one special thing that i haven't talked about much you're going to hear a kid's choir a children's choir in the background just so you know in the two unite song that was a culmination of ukrainian and russian children coming together to sing this song for you this is the way the world works god bless you and we'll see you soon